guys, it's Melanie. Welcome to my channel. Today I have a massive Owl Crate unboxing for you. So stay tuned. So I tend to let these book boxes pile up a bit before I do um, just one big unboxing for them. And yeah, I've got five boxes here and there's the potential that another may arrive while filming this but it may not be here for another day or two I don't know anyway I have these five beautiful boxes here to show you I don't know what order they're in I'm just going to jump right in and I'll tell you if you don't know about Alcrate I'm surprised <laughs> but it is a monthly box that comes with a young adult hardcover as well as like bookish goodies that are themed around whatever the theme is that month and probably my favorite box it's awesome okay oh gosh this one's heavy and I will leave all the information for these boxes or for Alcrate down in the description below if you're interested okay opening up this box and it looks like this I'm not sure where our card is. Oh, it's underneath whatever this is. Oh, looks like Elsa. So this is the spoiler card for the November 2019 box. This is Through the Enchanted Forest. Exciting. Okay. So let's start with whatever this is. Oh, sneak peek into the box. Okay. This is a throw blanket it says all forests are magic okay so on one side it's just plain white and the other side has the design Ooh, that is pretty and I guess it says all forests are magic and the same design down at the bottom it's so pretty it's gonna go in this library perfectly because there's like pinks and purples and so soft and cuddly oh my gosh my lap is covered in fuzzballs right now okay hold on you can even see them on me here I've got fuzz balls all over me. Oh my gosh. There's so many. Oh man. I need a freaking lint roller after that. Okay. So that should probably go in the wash to get some of the fuzz balls off before actually using it because wow I'm covered in stuff okay that was a little bit of a downside like the blanket don't like the fuzz balls okay then we have the monthly enamel pin and this is really pretty it's got like the butterfly on it like the blanket but it's got like this skull here it looks really cool okay then we've got something that's an Alcrate exclusive created by juniper and ivy designs .com. and it's like a little paper bag kind of thing okay it's a like a bookish ornament it's uh, one of those wood ones it says trees in your eyes stars in your heart and it looks like this. Pretty. Still getting fuzzballs off me. Okay, then we've got Pip Stickers by Pip Sticks. These are really, really cute. So it looks like there's two different kinds. So we have like the colorful foresty ones here that look like that. They're super cute. But I really, 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 really like the ones on the back. They're black and white. And there's like owl crate boxes that say special delivery 
little glasses that say book club, mugs that say Shh, I'm reading, then we got little banners that say reading list and books and just, oh, I love these stickers. Xander very well may claim these, but these back here are mine. <laughs> Okay, then we have another little paper bag thing. And this, ooh, it is a really cool metal bookmark with a tassel. It's like thick. Uh, it's from Her Paper World. And on the other side it says, There was a song in this forest too, but it was a savage song. Whispering of madness and tearing and rage, Naomi Novik very cool so it looks like this it's awesome and then here is who made it i really really like this bookmark okay next up is something that i was actually really looking forward to and uh i can still use it which is great it they do every year a uh, reading planner and this year, or 2019's reading planner was even better than the one they did the year before, which I also loved. But what's really, really cool about them is they're not like dated or they don't have any months on it. So you can use it whenever. So I wasn't worried about not opening it right away because I can start it anytime I like. And this one is thick, it's spiral bound. It looks like this, it's really pretty. Um, so let's do a little flip through here. Ooh, favorite books. You can like fill it in, color it in. And then you have like the little monthly view. There's book wish list, a monthly TBR. I love this. Then you've got your weekly planner that's got like your pages read and you know space there and then you have a to-do list, a reading list, pages read this week, notes. There's like these really cool pages for book reviews. So it has your title, your rating, you put it and you fill in your stars, the author, the genre, the pages. Date started and finished, your thoughts, and you mark whether it was a physical book, ebook, or audiobook. And those look like this. I think it's really, really cool. I like that. There's a place for favorite quotes and monthly wrap up. You put total books read, genres read, total pages read, your favorite books, your least favorite books books you didn't finish, more pages for notes, and then it starts over. At the very end, there is a end of year wrap up. So total number of physical books, ebooks, audiobooks, total books I did not finish. You put your top 10 best books, most read genre, favorite Alcrate book of the year, top worst books. Love it. And there's a quote on the back here by Neil Gaiman and it says, I hope that this year to come you make mistakes. Because if you're making mistakes, then you're making new things. Trying new things. Learning, living, pushing yourself, changing yourself, changing your world. You're doing things you've never done before. And more importantly, you're doing something. So that's my wish for you and all of us. And my wish for myself. Make new mistakes. Make glorious, amazing mistakes. Make mistakes nobody's ever made before. Don't freeze. Don't stop. Don't worry that it isn't good enough or it isn't perfect. Whatever it is, art or love or work or family or life, whatever it is you're scared of doing, do it. Make your mistakes next year and forever. I like that. And then we have a print here. Once upon a time, I dared to dream of a strange, lovely world where I belonged. Oh, and that's, I guess, from maybe Diamond and Dawn, which is the sequel to Amber and Dusk. 
So it's a lush, thrilling story of sacrifice, secrets, and star-crossed love. Okay, so one of the downsides of not opening these boxes right away is I might actually obtain the book that's in it from other means. <sighs> Which is what happened here. So this book was one that Marty gave me in my Advent Christmas thing he did this past Christmas. So I have the original copy of this, but I also have this really cool Alcrate exclusive signed edition. So I may get rid of the one Marty gave me because this cover is really cool and it's signed. Oh, and it has sprayed edges even better. Ooh, it's so pretty. That is Winterwood by Shea Earnshaw and look at this book. Oh, okay, I gotta see it without the cover. Oh, there is the signature, if you can see it, down here. Oh yes, and it is very pretty, just like the, oh gosh, I love this. Yeah, so I'm probably gonna swap my other copy for this one because it's signed and sprayed edges and all of this beauty. Love that. Okay, so let me read the letter here that came with the book. It says, Hello reader, this story began as a love letter to the wilderness, a place where I have always felt at home. There is a lake not far from where I live, where the dark bottomless water reflects the towering evergreens, and across the lake is a series of small buildings, a summer camp for boys. This is a real life lake that inspired Winterwood. And I wish I could say that the legends in this book are holy fiction, but some are folklore I'd heard over the years. Whispers of a haunted wood of lost things found. This tale is part fiction, part truth. But where one ends and the other begins, I'm unsure. Wishing you light through dark places, Shay Earnshaw. And I just love how gorgeous this book is. And I haven't actually read either, or I haven't read my original copy either, so I need to read it. And then there's the little Alcrate magazine. It shows you the difference between their edition and the original. Uh, there's a interview with the author, a little crossword puzzle. Uh, an interview with the Pipsticks vendor. They're like photo challenge and stuff. Oh, this is cool. This is something different they hadn't done before. A playlist for losing yourself in woods full of dark magic and ancient secrets. So, there's a thing you can scan for Spotify. And then there's also the list of songs. That's pretty neat. And then they also are doing like other releases they're excited about for that month. Very cool. And then we have the card for the December theme, which is Tales of Trickery. Okay, so that's all that's in that box. Time for the next one. Ooh. Okay, opening this one up. And it looks like so. Okay, so this is the January 2020 box, and the theme was Vengeance Will Be Mine. Looks like so. Okay, first thing I see in here are some Crooked Kingdom socks. Okay. I haven't read this book yet, but I need to, like read all of her books because apparently they're amazing. These aren't really socks I would probably wear so I'll probably pass these on to Xander. It says they're unisex small so they should fit Xander. Okay what's next? We got something here. 
It's a map. I don't know what. Gray mountains. Mountains of Mirkwood. These are the Misty Mountains. I have no idea. So, yeah, there's that. Maybe this has something to do with the book. I don't know. Then we got some worms. Let me get them out of the box here. I'll put them in the other box. There's a little owl crate drawstring bag. What's in here? You've got words in your soul. Looks like this. And okay, it's like a there's a mirror and I don't know, it's like a pill container or something. Okay. I do like the little bag. Alright, then we got a candle. This is a quart of candles. Lighter. Orange, yuzu, evergreen. It smells pretty good. It's a very bright yellow with a little bit of glitter on top. It smells really nice. Oh, that little mirror is inspired by Nevernight. And the candle, it says, ignite your inner magic with this gorgeous exclusive candle inspired by the magic of, from children of, the, of blood and bone. They were handmade by a quart of candles and we sent out an assortment of five different candles. Which one did you receive? Okay. And then we have a mug. Oh, it's a very cool Harry Potter mug, which is perfect for right now because as I'm filming this, the magical readathon is going on. Don't know when I'm actually posting this video, but when I'm filming it, the owls are going on. Anyway, looks like this. I'm so going to use this today. Okay, then we have our pen. It says blood to blood, name to name, bone to bone. And it looks like this. And then the book. And I don't think I've heard anybody talk about this one. It is Scavenge the Stars by Tara Sim. This one is signed. A little card here with the letter. It says, Dear Reader, there's nothing quite like a good revenge story, is there? This book, much like its inspiration, The Court of Monte Cristo, is all about revenge. When everything is taken from you, what option left is there other than to go after the man who ruins your life? But this isn't just a story of revenge. It's also about family, grief, and losing one's way. It's about righting your wrongs and reaching out for help when you need it. It's about picking yourself back up and hoping the next day will be better. To find the power to make it better. It's about a girl and a boy who want more than anything to be loved. It's a story about standing up to the injustices of the world and saying no more. And then there's like a little ship drawn on there. Interesting. And then we have our little magazine here. So here... Okay, so the difference between the original and the Alcrate edition, this is what the original looks like, and this is the Alcrate edition. I actually like the Alcrate edition better. 
And then we have an interview with the author, um, an interview with one of the vendors. Okay, this in the reads is the vendor for that map. Like, uh, it's a pin, pin banner. And um, it's the banner is inspired by The Hobbit, which would explain why I didn't really recognize it. Um, then we have a playlist as well, uh, Life is a Storm, and then other books that were coming out that month. And then the theme for February is A Power Within. And that's everything in this box. Okay. Now on to this one. Okay, opening. Okay, opening this one up. It looks like so. This is the December 2019 box. And the theme was Tales of Trickery. And I don't know if that was actually focusing. Looks like that. Inside looks like this. I'm going to go ahead and move those worms out of the way here. One thing about like waiting and opening these up all at once. It's like Christmas and it's all these fun goodies. I love it. Okay, the first thing in here I have no idea what this is. Carval Rose Earmuffs. Okay. Enjoy epic twists and turns while playing a game of Carval. Don't get swept too far away. Okay. So they twist. And they're super fuzzy. Okay, let's see. They don't... What? <laughs> Do they... Okay, they will expand a little. They don't fit over my ears. <laughs> I hear my ears. Okay. Well. I don't have a big head. <laughs> I imagine they probably got quite a few people that these are not going to fit. Okay. Cute idea. All right, then we have a candle from Novelty Yours Candles, Mount Ruin, Fire and Cinnamon Chai. Ooh. And this is like a hot pink color. Interesting. It's not a, I, I was almost expecting it to be like red hot kind of smell. But I guess with the chai, it's not. Also, it is one of those like wood wick candles. It's a nice soft smell. Okay, then we've got, ooh, a book, book sleeve. It's cool. It was always wise to be polite to books, whether or not they could hear you. Cute. And this seems like it would hold a good size book. I'm just throw in the scavenge of the, scavenge of the stars book. Oh yeah, there's plenty of room in here. I can maybe even fit two. Let me try adding winter wood. Yeah, I can actually fit two books that size in here. All right, then we have our pen. Ooh, it's like a castle with like ivy growing all over it. Looks like this. And then something here. Sky in the deep hand warmer. Once activated, this magic heat pad will instantly and safely heat up to approximately 129 degrees Fahrenheit. Oh, it can be reused more than 100 times. Neat. Place the metal piece between forefinger and thumb, press until it clicks, and begins crystallizing. When the crystallization is complete, squeeze the heat pad to make it soft and ready to use. To recharge, Place the heat pad in boiling water with a cloth underneath to prevent the plastic from contacting the bottom of the pot. Boil for about five minutes or until all crystals have fully dissolved and have become clear again. 
let the heat pad cool to room temperature and now it's ready to use again neat do not heat it in the microwave oh and it's got like this little knitted baggie for it to go in it looks like this and says breathe fire so you click this little metal piece in here see if I can oh there it goes oh and it got hot like instantly how cool and now we just squeeze it to make it soft Okay, next up is a coloring book, an Alcrate coloring book. That's funny. Wolves were everywhere. A Phoenix, official Phoenix Writer Club. Iron must be tested. This is funny. I like it though. And then they also give you colored pencils. Dang it, I just saw what the book was. This is another one that Marty got me in my um, December Advent, like Christmas Advent thing he did for me. Though granted, this was the December box, so either way, I was going to end up with two. <sighs> okay. That, let me take it out of its plastic. I'm not sure which cover I like better. I think I like the original better. Which I don't want to go and pull it off my shelf. But anyway, that is The Guinevere Deception by Kirsten White. Let's see if this one's signed. It is. So I'll probably keep this edition. I may switch out the cover because I like the other cover. I like the other cover better. But how pretty. I really, really enjoyed The Guinevere Deception. I can't remember if I gave that four and a half or five stars, but I love this book. This says, Dear Alcrate Reader, sometimes we need, to, need an escape, so I decided to run away to Camelot. I've always been drawn to Arthurian legends, magic versus order, old versus new, love versus duty, the sweeping romance of a city based on the idea that together we can build something better than what came before and the creeping sorrow of knowing it can't last. But rather than a king and his sword, I wanted to follow a girl and her heart. A girl who is not a princess, but a changeling, put in an impossible situation no one prepared her for. Don't we all sometimes feel like imposters in our own lives, hoping to find friends and companions who can help us see who we truly are? Come to Camelot with Guinevere and discover it for yourself. Wishing you wonder and magic. And this book is really good. I definitely recommend it. But yeah, the original one is like a purple cover and I like that. So here's our magazine and I can show you. So here is the difference between the Alcrate and the original. The Alcrate's got more of like a green and silver thing going on whereas the original is uh, like purple and gold and I like that one. Interview with the author. Another crossword puzzle. This is uh, the interview with the candle maker. Again another playlist. And the theme for the January box is Vengeance Will Be Mine. We already saw that one. And that's all in this box. Ugh. Hope nothing's broken in this box. Okay, opening this one up is kind of scary because I'm afraid something's broken inside because of how it rattles. Anyway. This is the February box, and the theme is A Power Within. Alright. So the first thing I see is this pen. And it says, Still I will fight. 
it looks like a almost like the sea witch's crown because it looks like shells and stuff but then tentacles wrapping around it looks like that and then we got a keychain here break bills alumni no idea what that's from let's look uh, this is uh, the magicians it says hey the magician fans when you're not busy exploring fillery you can return to break bills using your uh, using our alumni keychain designed by blooming library and then it looks like a deck of cards here which looks so pretty rattle the stars to whatever end and this is inspired by the throne of glass series by sarah j moss and i'm actually currently reading that series i love getting these special edition card decks because they're always so pretty this one is already gorgeous just from the outside Ooh. and they're foiled around the edges too oh so pretty okay All right, so here's what they look like. Absolutely stunning. The number cards are pretty basic, but let's get to the face cards. Those are so freaking pretty. Okay. What? It's like a lunch box with silverware. It's like a bento box. Yeah, it is. It comes with a spoon and chopsticks. That's cool. And let's see. You take the lid off and it's got three little compartments. How fun. I'm not sure if this is inspired by anything or, or not. It says, Team Alcrate designed this bento box for metal-eating allomancers who like to pack their lunches while traveling through Luthdale and for Mistborn readers who enjoy tastier foods. We use Scradial's Steel Alphabet to spell Alcrate on the top. Oh, okay, I didn't know what all these symbols on top here were, but it spells Alcrate. Fine. Okay, then we got a little drawstring bag here. Looks like something cloth folded inside. Okay. It's like a little silky handkerchief thing. So on one side is this, and on the other side it says, A witch is just a girl who has realized her power is her own. Okay. Don't know what this is from either. 
Oh, it's a double-sided screen cleaning cloth featuring designs inspired by Wicked Saints. The Nadia fan art was created by Nicole Deal, and the quote on the reverse was hand-lettered by Leaf and Lore. Okay. You just keep it folded up and in its little baggie until you need to use it. All right, then we have the brown envelope thing. So we have Thread Sisters BFF bookmarks. And they have these little tassels I guess you add on. Um, there's two of them. So I guess one for you and one for your BFF. But they're identical. So let me just line them up and show you. Little metal bookmarks that look if I can get this to focus. They look like this. So they have a dragon here. And then like the little leathery kind of tassel. It says, I'll always follow you and you'll always follow me. Thread Sisters to the End. Inspired by the Witchland series by Susan Dennard. And, uh... It looks like along the edge here is a ruler, but I think it measures centimeters. So yeah, I'll probably keep one for myself and give one to Xander. Then we have a, I guess, a chapter sampler from Chain of Gold by Cassandra Clare, which I already had a chapter sampler and now I have the book as well, so I don't really need that. And then the book, thank goodness it's one I don't own. It is all the... Stars and Teeth by Adeline Grace. And this is a really pretty cover. I've seen the original cover and I like this. Princess, Pirate, Stowaway, Mermaid. The Crew Makes the Queen. She Will Reign. And our letter says, Dear Alcrate Reader, I'm going to be real sappy for a second and say how excited I am to get to share this stunning edition of my debut novel with you. Having a book in Alcrate is a dream come true and I can't wait to welcome you all aboard Keel Hall and set sail across the kingdom of Vesita. The world of all the stars and teeth is one I had ridiculous amounts of fun with. Every one of the seven islands has their own entirely unique setting and magic system that was a blast to write. My goal was to create a world where you're not born with magic, you choose it. And the type you choose will not only influence where you live, but your entire way of life. Getting to imagine what it'd be like to practice these magics and live in the different environments was one of the parts I loved most about writing this book. While my choice would be to live on the bustling island Mornute and practice enchantment magic, someone else might choose a life of relaxation on Suntusu and practice mind magic, or live on the, the adventurous Valuka and master element magic, elemental magic. Vesita is such an expansive magic, ki magical kingdom and I wanted it to have something for everyone. It was so much fun getting to build this kingdom and to explore it with someone who is experiencing it for the first time. Amora Monto Montava? Montara? Amora is the type of character I wish I'd seen more of growing up. She's someone who goes after what she wants and who loves being in the thick of action as much as she loves fashion and courting. She may be flawed and possibly even a bit morally gray, but she's so unapologetic for who she is that it was honestly a bit therapeutic to write her. In the media, men who go after what they want at all costs are often loved and respected, while female characters who behave the same way are scoffed at and called bratty, or you know, another B word. I'm proud to have Amora join the growing cast of unapologetic female heroines who go after what they want in the same way male characters have gotten to since forever. This story is very much Amora's. I'm just the vessel she's using to write it. 
Amora and the rest of Keel Hall's crew have fully captured my heart, and I hope they capture yours too. I can't wait for you to meet them. To all you wonderful readers, welcome aboard and happy sailing. That was a lot, and she wrote really tiny. <laughs> That's why I stumbled over the words. But neat. I like this cover. Okay, so here's our little magazine. It looks like all the design is the same, except this one's more green and colorful, where the other one is more blue, and the other, all, all the things that are colorful on here are muted. So, here. Here's the owl crate. Here's the original. I think I like the owl crate one better. And then we have an interview with the author. An interview with the artist of that little cloth playlist. Yeah. And then the theme for March is music of the night. And that's all that's in this box. So we have this one box left. And this was like their anniversary box or something. Okay. Whoop. A little card fell out. Okay, so this was the March 2020 box, and the theme was Music of the Night. We have a lot of worms here. A whole lot of worms. Wow, that was more worms than all the other boxes combined. Okay. Now, here's what the book lo the box looks like. Okay, the first thing I see is this candle. It's from Flick the Wick. It's an Alcrate exclusive called Goblin Grove. Winter berries, peach, yuzu, pear, and fresh air. And it's like a sky blue. Ooh, that smells so good. It just looks like that, but oh, it's so fruity. I love it so much. Oh, it smells so good. Okay, then we have something that's wrapped in plastic here. And looks like it might be messy. It's Bella's Lullaby Mint Chocolate Chip Lip Scrub. Ah, uh, okay. So I'm not going to open this up right now, but little lip scrub. can't smell it through the plastic, but I'm not opening it right here right now because that would be too messy. And then we have something in this little box here. Oh, it says it's an Alcrate wireless speaker. This mini wireless speaker is perfect for playing your favorite music, whether you're having an emergency dance party or wanting something instrumental while you read. We got a little cable, a little strap, tiny little user manual. <laughs> And this ridiculously super cute speaker. It has a range up to 10 meters. So on the back we have an on off switch, a little charging thing, volume control. No, that's not volume. That's play, fast forward, and rewind. And then there's like a slot for something else. Maybe an SD card or something? I don't know. It says TF. There's like a no slip thing on the bottom. And it looks like the owl wearing headphones. Very cute. Okay, that does volume and fast forward and rewind. And you can answer and reject calls with the uh, play or pause. Cute. I like that. And then our pen is huge. It's like a, a tree, but like the, like the tree and the reflection of the tree. Okay. And we have some Alcrate socks, which 
is really cute and these I will keep for myself. And then something in a tube here. The Phantom of the Opera. Something here that looks very Harry Potter-ish. Got the owl on the front. Let's see what's inside. Okay. So we got five of those stickers. I mean, cool. <laughs> I'm not sure why we got five of the same sticker, but okay. And then we have this like envelope with something pretty solid in it. It's a piece of wood. It says, sing you a song and steal your soul, Victoria Schwab. And it's pretty thick. That's pretty cool. I keep that on my shelf. And then this book is actually one that's on my wish list, but I haven't gotten it. So, yay. And that is The Kingdom of Back by Marie Lu. Ooh. And those edges. It's got silver foiled edges. Pretty. And I'm guessing it's signed. I think they're all signed. Yeah. It's signed. And there's also this map. Mozart's Family Grand European Tour. I am the sister, the other Mozart, and her story is mine. This says, Dear Alcrate Reader, I've always been drawn to stories about child prodigies, so when I first learned that Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart not only had a sister, but that she too was as talented as he in music, I read everything I could find about her and their childhood together. Her name was, a, was Maria Anna Mozart, nicknamed Nanerl, Nanerl? and she and Wolfgang Wolferl, Wolfer, for short, were inseparable as children. The two, in fact, toured together as a par pair of child prodigies managed by their strict father as they performed for the royal courts of Europe. To entertain themselves during the long carriage rides, the siblings invented for themselves a magical kingdom they called Back. As a writer, I'm haunted by what Nenerol must have felt to have her creativity smothered what could she have done if given the chance? I hope her story inspires you not only to read more about her, but about others like her that history has forgotten. And I wish you clear roads in the pursuit of your own dreams. Me. I actually didn't know Mozart had a sister. Also, on the cover, I don't know if this picks up on the camera. Oh wait, there we go. There's music notes throughout. And they um, are glossy, so the light hits them really cool. Anyway, and then we've got our magazine. So the original one, ooh, I don't know which one I like better. That original one's really pretty. It's a... Uh, so the tree stuff is all the same on the original one, but the background, instead of being this blue color, the background is like a black, and it looks really cool. So I am I would probably say I like the original cover better, but I also get why they went with what they did because of like the whole blue theme. But here's the Alcrate, here's the original. And then we have an interview with Maria Lou, an interview with Fairy Tale Bath Company, the ones that did the little lip scrub. They also have a use code Alcrate at fairytalebathco.com for 50% off any one item until August 1st, 2020. Our playlist and other books that came out that month. And then the theme for 
the April box is Full Moon Magic, which I haven't received this box yet at this point in filming. Well, what was your favorite item? I think my favorite item out of all of these, oh, I really like those cards. Also, that one metal bookmark, oh, this one right here is really, really cool, as well as the reading journal. Yeah, there's a lot of really cool stuff in all this. What was your favorite? Comment down below and let me know. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a big thumbs up. If you'd like to see more videos like this, click that subscribe button down below. And until next time, remember to always be completely you. Bye.